Yeah, so last week, we played with 21. Um, last week was, uh, yeah, there was a few COVID-related outs um, late. Uh, we had a few guys on the Thursday morning, um, yeah, test positive. So that was a bit frustrating. And then we had another one on Friday night. So um, lucky enough, we could sort of get a couple replacements um, Friday, but then Saturday morning, um, we struggled to get the last one. With everything going on, with you know, we got a couple of guys, two guys from the under 18s coming up, and everyone else on the list was playing. So, um, yeah, we just decided that um, we would just play one short in the reserves. Um, but yeah, it was a great result. The boys played really well, um, especially the, the two guys who come up from the 18s. They played their roles really well, um, and yeah, it was a great win from the group. Yeah, we we sort of understood that um, with all the outs that we had, um, you know, these guys we just want to come in and play their role and. Something we've built over the last uh, 12 months and something that I've sort of, as a coach, built really strongly with our group is when someone's you know, out through injury or performance, the next guy comes in and just we want, all, they want, all we want them to do is play their role. So those three were really good on the weekend, um, especially in that last quarter. Um, you know, Shoal was, went into the ruck for a little bit as well and, and um, performed really well and, and crashed a few packs and um, you know, caused a few stoppages, which was really pleasing to see. But, yeah, they all played really well and, and had little moments within the game, which was really positive. Uh, yeah, Pat was very good. Um, you know, we've been sort of working with Pat this pre-season about trying to impact the scoreboard a bit more. And um, I think we've seen it this year. I think he's kicked multiple goals in nearly every game. So, um, But still having a really big influence through the midfield as well. So last quarter he had four clearances and, and really was strong in a few opportunities to hold the ball in and, and create, you know, some repeat stoppages, which was big in that last quarter. So, um, yeah, Pat's form at the moment is 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 really good, and um, yeah, he's he's really impactful on the game, both offensively and defensively, and stoppages and everything. So, yeah, something we really love really love having Pat back. Yes, we did talk about him playing later in the year last year. I think he was emergency for a couple of games. Um, and this preseason's had a really good preseason. Um, yeah, he's always been fit, but he came back probably fitter than ever this year. And um, yeah, with the injury to a couple of guys sort of later in preseason, early trial games, we sort of thought that we'd have a look at Amos in the trials. Um, and yeah, he's hasn't missed a beat since. Um, played all trials, played you know every game so far, and has been playing some really good footy. Um, you know, he, he loves the contest, loves the impacting around the ground, and. Um, on the weekend, had 17 touches and, you know, was even, you know, some tackles and clearances as well. So he's playing really good footy. Um, and I guess at the moment it does create um, some headaches for the coaches in terms of selection. Yeah. It's another big game for us. Um, you know, Norwood, I think, is starting to play some really good footy now. We played him in a trial as well. So, um, yeah, it's just important for us to keep in touch, I guess, with that, that finals and top three um, if we can keep winning. And we got a little... Um, two two home games in a row now and then a bye. So it'd be really nice to get to that bye um, with a couple more wins under our belt. I guess it was great to get Mark Evans back to present the jumpers to the um, three debutants. Um, and it's you know it's great to see these players that have retired in the last few years coming back to the club. And um, I guess another one of those is Fraser Evans. He'll be at the match day luncheon on the weekend. So um, yeah, get down um, if you need to if you want to go along to that. Contact the footy club, um, get your tickets. But it'd be great to get a big crowd down on Sunday at Wigan Oval versus Norwood.